whoa, whoa. Hold on. Prince Kaleo has been deceived by a sim pretending to be someone they're not. Wait, what just happened? Why is Dean yelling at... Wait, what's going on? Why is the Sulani butler here? What the heck? Hello, my little rainbows. We are back with another episode. I am so excited for this episode. There's a lot of stuff that's happening in this episode and the next episode. We are currently at the Brindleton Bay Palace, as you guys can see. I will talk about that more in a bit. We are going to also be going to a surprise. I have a surprise for you guys because this is the first episode that has come out since the Cottage Living expansion pack has been out. And if you are a regular on my streams and you've probably already seen this surprise, Surprise, but we are going to be seeing a new palace for Windenburg because I've mentioned before that Henford on Bagley is an extension of Windenburg. It is the Windenburg countryside, kind of like how Mount Komorebi is an extension of Guangxi. It is it's in the kingdom of Guangxi. So the same thing with Henford on Bagley. It is not replacing the Windenburg palace. The main Windenburg palace is still where it usually is, but I'll, I'll talk about that more later. I'm just so excited to show you guys later. And then we're going to see some of Dean and Leilana and a bit of that situation with Evangeline. So here's like the rundown with this episode. I am going to be playing through all the stuff I have planned, kind of like in the debutante ball, you guys all saw it in an episode. And then I'm going to be having detailed story posts after this episode that will be out on my Instagram and on Tumblr. And I will also have a machinima in the next episode. It'll be a short one, but it will be a pretty great moment that I'm very excited for. But I, I wanted to play through things because I, I just feel like I've been talking a lot lately in <laughs> a lot of episodes, like just talking about the story post because I want to make sure you guys know everything and all that stuff and that everyone's on the same page. But I realize it is kind of a lot of talking and not as much playing. And it is a Let's Play series, so I feel like I should play through it. Also, they are like a bit translucent here because I have my reshade on. I'm trying filming with my my reshade on. It's just like a light reshade. Also, um, ignore this dip going on at the palace. I'll fix that later. But one of my effects makes it do that. So it might look a tad bit odd. But yeah, this is it with reshade and this is it without it. it. It really doesn't make that much of a difference, but I just wanted to try it light and see like if my recording and my OBS could handle it. But yeah, anyway. Okay. So we're at the Brindleton Bay Palace. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, sorry. Um, Story post. There, there were just two story posts that I posted before this episode in between the last episode and this episode. The first one was cast been coming home from getting beat up by Kaleo and we saw that he's not doing great. Um, I'll talk about that more in a bit. And then the other story post was just a more detailed scene of what we already saw in the last episode with Kaleo and Frederick and William and that whole stuff going on, which we will also talk about in just a second. But okay, so the debutante ball was only two days ago at the Brindleton Bay Palace and now we're back two days later. This episode and the next episode is all happening in like one day. So there's a lot that's gonna happen in one day. I'm really excited. Um, but we're here now with the teens. Sadir and Johan, I believe, I, I believe a lot of the monarchs are going to be do like have some responsibilities to do today. You guys will see a bit more of that later, but we are just with the teens here. Alice May hasn't arrived yet. Molly Grace is still getting ready in her room. It's like morning time, so she's uh well, she's just standing there. I'll bring her down in a bit. But we're here because Molly Grace and Alice May, they were supposed to hang out today, and Alice May was supposed to tell her the rest of the stuff about Kaleo. It was pretty much just the stuff about how he calls Caspian a commoner because that's insulting to most of their friend group. Oh, they're not wearing the outfits I picked out for them. Hold on. Wait, oh no, it's just Nani. I picked a different outfit for Nani. But Alice May also wanted to tell Nani and Jessica about what's been going on with Kaleo. So that's why they're here too, but they don't know what's going on. They just asked if they could hang out because Alice May had stuff to tell them. Oh, that is what I picked out for you. Okay. But they're just chilling. They don't know what's going on with Kaleo, they're, they're playing cards with him right now. <laughs> Meanwhile, Frederick is very tense, so he is feeling pestered. There's a constant nag- oh, whoa, whoa. There's a constant nagging feeling that Frederick just can't shake. William should also be a bit bothered. Uh, he's just really focused right now. I don't know- I don't know why. But Frederick has just been like- the guilt has been eating at him since last night. But I'm gonna have him, like, bring William into here. Should we just go in here? Or like- oh, let's go in here. Let's go away. Oh, no, no, not Molly. 
Molly. Oh, well, Molly Grace is supposed to come downstairs, actually. So Molly Grace, go downstairs. So Alice May isn't here yet. In the story post you guys saw when Caspian got home, you noticed he left her on red, not on purpose, but Alice May texted him and he was, uh, Frederick, can you, oh, complain, complain about problems. Oh, they high-fived. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna complain to you, but let me high-five you first. Where are they going? Okay, you, you need to sit down for this. Okay, so now Frederick, he probably has been thinking about this all night, the whole thing with Kaleo. And can you, is there like a vent, venting option? Vent, there you go, vent to William. But this has been getting to Frederick. He's probably telling William, all right, I'm done with this. I need to talk to you. So then he pulled William into here. Oh, is Molly Grace not coming downstairs? Your friends are here. Molly Grace, go downstairs. The butler's like, hey, your friends are here. And she's like, okay, let me finish getting ready first. All right, so she's going downstairs. And William probably feels the same way as Frederick. Pretend he does. <laughs> He's just really focused right now. He's focused on thinking like, okay, what can we do? I'm sure Frederick just like wants to tell Jessica what's going on. He probably isn't used to hiding things from her, but he just felt like really insecure about the whole thing with Caspian. So he didn't want to admit that he was feeling that way. But now it's just turned into this whole thing. He can't take it anymore. He, are you, can you vent or what else can you do? Whine about unfair life. He's probably telling William that he needs to tell Jessica. And I feel like like maybe Jessica, oh, Jessica, <gasps> okay. Okay, I was literally about to check if she could come in right now. So she's probably overhearing this and now I'm gonna have like Frederick just start Probably, I, I can imagine him like just word vomiting. Can you vent to Jessica too? Vent, compla complain about, pro that works too. Complain about problems. Tell her what's going on. Where's the venting? Uh, is that not on here? Oh my gosh, William's in the middle of this. Like, oh geez. Can you like tell her a secret? There's, I, there is just not interactions that I want to do for this, but let's see, t upset, t t um, whisper about crush. That's you though. That's her. I thought like tell a secret was a uh, interaction. I want, I just wanted her to gasp and be like, huh, what? But I, I, I don't see that unfortunately. Pretend, oh, got gossip maybe. Okay, all right. He's he's telling her, but probably a lot more serious than that. William is just in the middle, like <laughs> grinning. All right, Jessica's concerned now. Good, I think. Pretend she is but I can see Frederick just telling Jessica all this stuff and like telling her about Kaleo and what Kaleo did to Caspian. And let's see, can I, if I lower Jessica's relate, like if she hears this and I lower her relationship with Kaleo because immediately she'd be like, what? Um, will that, what if I do it to like 20? But, uh, trying to stay calm, just being around someone that Lady Jessica is furious with can be a source of stress. Trying to stay civil is not easy. Easy. Wait, I don't see a sentiment though. I mean like that works, but I, I thought, I, I don't know. I thought that was a thing. Like when their relationship's lower, they get a sentiment about like the, the relationship being lowered or something negative or something. I'm not sure. I thought that was it. But I mean, that literally works. And then when Frederick brings up the whole thing with Caspian at the debutante ball and him being jealous because he thought Caspian was flirting with her, Jessica would like totally tell him that Caspian and Alice May are a thing. That they're secretly a thing, but they're a thing and they didn't want to tell anyone. 100%. And I feel like Frederick and William would just be like, oh, F. <laughs> and instantly just be furious with Kale I wish I could do this in this. I'm sorry. I'm trying to like figure out how to do this while telling at the same time. Okay, so Molly Grace is downstairs now. Are she arguing with Kaleo? Argue. She is arguing with Kaleo. Okay, so she didn't, she obviously didn't know that Kaleo was going to be here. Where'd Nani go? <gasps> oh, wait, Alice May is here. Oh my gosh. She literally, did you guys see that? She walked in. Saw Kaleo. Oh, I forgot to reach it back on. But um, she walked in, saw Kaleo, and like instantly was like, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. <gasps> Wait. Oh, I need, okay, so I need to control her. So Alice May has finally arrived. Control Sim. Alice, she's enraged. Fury, the memories of hate and pain and injustice all coming back, ready to stroke the fires of fury. Oh my gosh. A oh, and she has an emotion bomb quirk too. Uh, oh, Nani's here. Okay, um, Molly Grace though, you, oh, well, you're fine. All right, um, but like Molly Grace would probably tell, okay, so Alice May's here and then she'd probably tell her like she did not know that Kaleo was gonna be here. She didn't know the guys were gonna be here. Um, discuss angry mood. Um, sure. Try try to calm down. I, well, try to calm down, sure. I mean, like we know Alice May, she wouldn't be like openly angry, but oh, 
they just like, she's in a wave. Okay. All right. So she's like trying to tell her that. I, I don't think Alice May would be upset by this. She like she'd probably be like, okay, no, I know you're you're fine. Um, I'm sure Molly Grace would like offer and ask if she wants them to leave. Kaleo's just chilling. Nani, do you know what's going on? Are, do you should you talk to Kaleo? Do you know what's going on? Anyway, I, I think Molly Grace would probably offer to tell the guys to leave. And Alice May is like, okay. Cause she, I mean, like, she doesn't okay, she doesn't know what Kaleo's done to Caspian. She hasn't heard from Caspian yet, so she's already worked up and anxious about that. Um, Molly Grace, well, okay, so okay, well, I'm sorry, there's so much going on. Um, Frederick has just found out that Kaleo lied about Caspian, and he's probably like on his way here, but Molly Grace would come back and probably stop him and be like, um, hey, y'all need to leave. And I don't know, there's no, <laughs> there's no interaction for this. Molly Grace would probably be a bit more tense. Deep conversation, sure, do that. Um, Jessica maybe would start walking over like back to the room. Frederick said he was gonna talk to Kaleo though, so I don't know if she would outright talk to Kaleo. Um, oh my gosh, Alice May's enraged. <laughs> I, I mean like, I think she'd be more tense than enraged. Not like, I, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see more in a second though. Okay, I'm gonna have Nani. So I, I made Alice May tense because like if she's enraged now, what would she be if she found out what Kaleo did to Caspian? So I, I need to like grow from there. So she's tense right now. Um, she's chatting with Nani. Nani's like asking what's going on. I'm sure Alice May is telling her about Caspian, how Caspian like didn't, oh, hello, hello. Oh my gosh, dude, he's so angry. What are you angry about? Whoa, 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 hold on. Deceitful Sim. Prince Kaleo has been deceived by a Sim pretending to be someone they're not. You can't trust them anymore when they're not being Ho um, excuse- okay, coming from Kaleo? Coming from Kaleo. He should not be the one to have that mood lit. That should literally be everyone else. Okay, anyway, we'll pretend he's angry because he's hearing Alice May talking about Caspian. I literally don't know why he has that mood lit. I don't know what happened. Should- this mood lit should go to Frederick. It should go to Frederick. He just found out what was going on. It should go to Jessica. It should go to William. Everyone else except for Kaleo. Really? That's weird. Okay, but anyway, Kaleo is probably overhearing Alice May talking talking about Caspian, which uh, is just irritating him more because it's Kaleo. And I can, wait, my, wait, whoa, whoa, hold on, where are you going? Wait, Nani! She, what are you, she's chatting on the phone. Oh, maybe she got an important call. I don't know, who's she talking to? Um, all right, well, she literally just left Alice May and Kaleo in this room. Okay, Kaleo literally just sat, what are you doing? Okay, he literally sat down, Alice May got up. Is he arguing chat he's chatting with her it doesn't look like a happy chat okay i can honestly see kaleo going up to alice may and just being like like bringing up the caspian thing and being like oh why are you still so hung up on him i don't know something like that you guys will see this more in detail in story posts we okay also, Jessica is like, um, I don't know if they know she's there, but she's like eavesdropping or I don't know. Maybe she just walked in. Okay, so hear me out. What if Kaleo doesn't think anyone's around, doesn't notice Jessica's there and lets like a commenter comment slip about Caspian and Jessica hears it and like, you know, she would go off on Kaleo if she heard a comment like that. Kaleo's never said that stuff in front of anyone else, but like, what if someone finally hears him calling Caspian a commenter? And Jessica's just like, um, excuse you? How do you, what do you act tough, but little anger, yell at, yell at him. Jessica, yell at him. Okay, she sat, she sat down to yell. Stop sitting. This is so hard with the Sims. They literally do whatever. Okay, Jessica's yelling at Kaleo now, but like sitting while doing it. There we go. There, oh, oh, Alice May just did like a fit, like, oh gosh. Or more like, okay, good. Finally, they're hearing this. They keep sitting to argue, but they're arguing. Where's everyone else? They should be coming in here, but I can- Oh, wait, 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 are you guys arguing? Wait, hold on. Oh, maybe it's just Frederick just being tense. But like Molly Grace is telling them like they have to go and I, I, it's just, it's a whole, it's a whole mess. This is such a mess. This is so chaotic. There's so much going on. Where's William? Where's Nani? What is happening there? William is outside playing chess. He is avoiding all of this drama apparently and just went outside to go play chess. Nani's still on the phone. Is she on the phone with like Malia or something? I doesn't tell you who she's on the phone with. Um, all right, everyone inside. Now, come see what is happening. Oh, Molly Grace. Okay, there we go. All right, Molly Grace and Frederick just walked in. Jessica, I can see her telling, like, letting the thing about what Kaleo did to Caspian, like, letting it slip and just, like, okay, her hearing the commenter comment. All right, William's in here now. Nani, you're missing, you're missing the 
drama. Nani, come back. Nani, get off the phone. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, she's off the phone now. Oh my God, I wish they weren't sitting. I, I cannot get them to stop sitting down and arguing. I've asked them to come stand here so many times. Anyway, okay, Jessica overheard the commenter comment. And then she was probably like, um, what? Excuse you? And then I can see them arguing and her being like, um, why don't you tell Alice May what you did to Caspian then? They're having an ab abhorrent confrontation in front of everyone. Sentiments about Prince Kaleo, festering grudge, bitter sentiment, yes. I'm literally about to get rid of this couch. It's bothering me. I'm selling the couch, I'm selling the couch. Please stop sitting down. No, they're sitting at the table. Oh my gosh. Guys, seriously, stop. Okay, I got rid of all the chairs because they kept sitting down and it was just, it was ruining the moment. Okay, okay, Alice May's yelling at Kaleo now. Jessica mentioned the whole Caspian thing and she's like, um, excuse me, what? Um, Molly Grace is arguing with him too? I think, oh no, I don't know. Okay, yeah, uh, Frederick's yelling at, uh, uh, not William. Frederick's yelling at Kaleo. Everyone's yelling at Kaleo. Alice May is yelling at Kaleo. William and Nani is, what is with you guys? Honestly, Nani probably missed a lot of what happened. <laughs> she was out there on a phone call apparently, so she's probably in here like, what is going on? William, you know what's happening. What are you, what's with you? Oh my gosh, Alice May is arguing. Oh, she was, she was just yelling at Kaleo. Oh, face through Alice May. Alice May, where are you going? <gasps> you know what though? She would probably hear about Caspian and like be like, what? And then like be so concerned that she would like run out of there. Wait, Molly Grace would probably follow her. She, oh, she's she's actually running. Like she's literally running. She, she's probably running back to go to Windenburg. Molly Grace is probably, oh, well, she's still talking. <laughs> Molly Grace, go run after her. Anyway, I can see Molly Grace probably telling her like, hold on, we can help, we can take you home if you need us to. Although she's still talking. Molly Grace, go run after her. Okay, oh, she, okay, is she going now? Did she go? She's going. She, well, she's pretending she's running after her. Now it's like everyone ganged up on Kaleo. They all know the truth. Not Nani might need to be filled in later, but they know the truth. They know what, like that Kaleo lied about Caspian flirting with Jessica. There's <laughs> just like no furniture in here now because I took out all the chairs. But like, okay, now I'm gonna have Frederick to tell Kaleo to leave, to go home, to get out. They're so furious. They're so done with him. Go away. Tell him to go away, Frederick. Go away. Say, yeah, he said shoo. Go away. Yeah, get out. Okay, cool. <gasps> yeah. All right. Oh, well, okay. Well, he just went outside. Cleo's gonna have to leave. I have to take him out of the household. Cleo's leaving. All his friends found out what he did. He's he's furious. He's stomping out of there. And this is like just the beginning too. Just wait until like everyone else, everyone else finds out. This is just the beginning. I'm so excited. Oh, and there's spoiled food back there. Okay. That was very extremely chaotic. I have no idea how that's going to end up turning out to you guys. Um, again, there will be detailed story posts. So I don't know if this works. I don't know if trying to play it through like that when I already had stuff planned worked and trying to fight with the Sims to cooperate with me. Kaleo's going to go home. Well, actually, we'll see where Kaleo goes. We'll see him later. But now we're going to go to Henford on Bagley and I'm extremely excited. And we have some other interesting stuff that's going to happen there too. So let's go. All right, so we are now in Henford on Bagley, which as I said before, is the Windenburg countryside. No, I'm not creating a new kingdom. This is part of Windenburg. And look at this palace made by Lord Crumbs. It is beautiful. It's amazing. I'm obsessed with it. I'm not gonna show you guys all of it. If you want a detailed tour of like every single room, there's a link below to the Twitch stream, which I gave a detailed tour on. I showed like every room in that palace. But as I said, this palace was made by Lord Crumbs. He went above and beyond way more than I thought. Um, Him and his amazing anonymous artist friend added flags to Windenburg and then it went from there and they gave every kingdom a flag. They're literally amazing guys. I'm so excited. I don't know if you guys would want to like see a video of me explaining like each flag and like what the symbols mean or something. I don't know. I can, we can also just like put it on the royal family wiki page. But okay, let, let me just show you real quick. So we're going to be here and then I'll continue with the story in a second. There There's a reason why they're here. I mentioned the last episode or the episode before that that Amira and Jabari were way 
away from the main Winterberg Palace doing some royal responsibilities. So they're here for a flower show, which I'll talk about in a bit. But okay, so this is the Winterberg Palace. You can see the flags, the Winterberg flag. I'm gonna show you just like my favorite parts of the palace. And then again, if you want an in-depth tour, you can click on that link for the Twitch stream. But okay, so this is my, wait, hold on. Let me, let me just go here. Okay, so this is the ballroom slash throne room. It is a separate extension and look how freaking gorgeous this is guys i'm so obsessed with it it this is the um the, the glass roof portion so this is the separate portion here lord crumbs made this separate like a different color because he was saying that this is like the newly like the newly renovated part of the palace so that's why it's a different color than the rest of the palace which can also be a reason like why we haven't been here because it took them probably like decades to build this they probably come here and like hang out in the main palace every once in a while but reason why we haven't had events here and stuff because this whole extension was being built but i can imagine that like amira's father henry when he was a kid like henry cora and anna probably were all here i would like go on their holidays here and now amira jari and alice may and cedric can too there will probably be a lot of events here i'm so in love with the palace there definitely will be um there's also like lawn space to do garden parties and stuff because there's not actually lawn space at our main Wittenberg palace and then do you guys remember like a while ago we had a monarchs ball where they had the monarchs meeting and stuff well we have a place for them to do that when we do that the next time which i will try to as soon as possible okay so this room is in the basement it is so cool so we're gonna go in here so i'm just showing you guys my favorite parts here i, I like i love all of it but this is amazing look at this all right this is the hallway leading to the meeting room which just a heads up i i don't watch a lot of marvel but a lot of people said it it was the um what room jake a few moments later. Okay, I was wrong. I just asked Jake. It's DC, not Marvel. Um, the Hall of Justice. That's what he said it looks like. Actually, that's what like everyone on the stream said it looked like. Anyway, okay, so this is where we would go. Oh, let's go quickly. No, wait. Okay, we're going through. We're going through. Duh. Yeah, okay, cool. So this is the meeting room. I love it. It's so cool. This is where we would have the next Monarchs meeting. Okay, I, I don't want to spend too much time here. I just want to show you guys like these few things. The flags. Let me know about the flags. I'm going to put on my highlights on my Instagram story. There's going to be like the flag for each kingdom. So you guys will see anyway. But I didn't know if you guys wanted like a video of me explaining the flags. Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, that, that's the rest of the palace. You guys can see just like briefly the different rooms. There's just like a few adjustments I needed to make for Alice May's room, but yeah, it's amazing. Um, and Lord Crumbs was nice enough to let me add this to my gallery. So it is on my gallery. All right. Anyway, we'll be here a lot more. So you guys will see this palace a lot more. It is too beautiful not to come here like a ton, but we're here in Henford on Bagley, Amir and Jabari. Let's get back to the story. So Alice May left the Brindleton Bay Palace. She's going straight to Caspian. She is making sure he's okay. She's worried. She's freaking out. So she is running there. Or like fly, she's flying there and running there. In the story post, you guys will see Alice May finding Caspian. I just felt like if we went there now, it would kind of break the visual a little bit. So in this episode, we're seeing things from Amira and Jabari's point of view, whereas in the story post, we'll see it from Alice May's point of view. Okay, so now we are in the little town area in Henford on Bagley. So I set up like a makeshift, like that a flower show was supposed to happen here. Obviously, it'd probably be a bit busier, but um, pr pretend there's a bit more people here. Maybe it, like hasn't quite started yet and they're still setting up. Also, I used the tool mod to add all the stuff in the center here in case anyone is wondering. But yeah, maybe there's like a flower show that's supposed to happen and like that's why Amira and Jabari were here. These are their, their little outfits, Alice May, or not Alice May, oh gosh, Amira has her hat, which I thought was really cute. But I was thinking, so pretend that like they've gotten here and then like Alice May is already, oh, there's Lady Ariana back there. But you guys will see what happens with Alice May and Caspian in a story post. But we'll find out right now. Alice May, I can see her calling her parents and asking them to come back home and telling them the whole situation with Caspian and Kaleo. And you know, as soon as she would say that, Jabari would be like, um, we're going home. Okay, oh, Amira's on the phone right now. Okay, so yeah, I can see a staff member being like, um, your majesty, your daughter's calling you. Oh my gosh, wait, guys, that's Evangeline. Um, I was literally just about to say, I don't know where they are though. I was gonna say that I think Dean and Leilana, because they were supposed to come to Windham which is Henford on Bagley, and that they would also be attending the flower show. They were supposed to be here. I don't see them though, but I see Evangeline. But like if Amira has to leave and I, Evangeline's just here, I guess. I don't know, maybe she was attending or no, I don't know. Maybe she 
like was staying at one of the palaces. They had multiple properties on like in Henford on Bagley. So like maybe she was staying here. Maybe Amira, it, since Alice May called them and they're like, um, okay, we should go home and see what's going on with our daughter. Let's see, Evangeline. Can I dress you for this event? Yes, magically you've appeared. I don't know. Maybe they called Evangeline and asked if she was nearby and said they have to go and asked if Evangeline could fill in, fill in for the queen. It's not like a super important event that Amira would have to be there for. Plus Alice May called them. Their daughter is asking them to come home. They would go to her. They would make sure everything's okay. They would see what's going on. Wait, wait, I see them. Okay, there they are. Um, okay, so Leilana and Dean are here. I'm sure that like, I I, I figured like Johan and Sadira would come here too. Like that's where they are. I don't think like every monarch would be here because it's not like, again, a super important event. It's just like something that they like to come see, something that they like to do. And of course they can talk to important people while they're here too. And maybe it's like, it hasn't started yet. Maybe they're just early. And of course like Dean and Leilana, are, are they about to see Evangeline? Wait, hold on. I'm, I want to control them too. Okay, this is Leilana. Evangeline's literally right there. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Leilana has the heartbreak fueled for heartbreak fueled uh, fury. Oh gosh, that's hard to say. How could that sim betray Queen Leilana like that? How dare that sim show their face? Dean's trying to calm her down. I can imagine him saying like, I did not know she was going to be here, but Amira, they, they have to go. They have to go home. Amira and Jabari have to run back to Windenburg. Oh, she's getting water first. Okay. They're running. Okay, they're going back to Windenburg to go see what's going on with Alice May. Who, uh, dude, hello? What are you, oh, Takashi's just here. Takashi, are you here for the flower show too? Well, well, okay. Now, Leilana's not one to make a scene, so don't expect like a fight about to happen or anything like that. But I still think she would just say something to Evangeline. Like, oh God, there's nothing here that would be the equivalent to this. I, I want like a threaten, not like, mm, not like outright threats, but telling her to stay. Oh my God, wait, Ava's approaching them. Ava, Ava doesn't know that Leilana knows either. I, I don't I don't think Dean has talked to her since he got home the night before. <gasps> What? Oh my gosh. Wait, what just happened? Okay, wait, wait. Why is Dean yelling at- Wait, what's going on? Why is the Sulani butler here? What the heck? Okay, I really don't think Ava would be the one to approach them. I really think Leilana is the one to approach Ava. And you guys will see it in a story post anyway, but I think she would like low-key- Low-key say, whisper in Ava's ear, like pretend to be friendly and, and shake her hand so it, like everything looks civil because again, Leilana is not one to cause a scene or show that there's anything going on. And of course, Ava doesn't know that she knows. And- Oh, wait, they literally, wait, they did. They hugged each other. I get, because that's what I like pictured seeing was her greeting her and hugging her. And then when she does that, like whispering in her ear to stay away from Dean. Dean also walked away. He's like, nah, -uh. this is too much. I was not expecting this. Okay, we're gonna leave them here and like really quickly, we're gonna go to the main Windenburg Palace for one reason and one reason only. And you guys will see that in just a second. All right, so we are back at the main Windenburg Palace. Her and her bodyguard Finn, which you guys have seen in a couple story posts, but they have just taken Caspian to the hospital. So she she went to go see if he's okay, but and you guys was like, he, he's okay. He has like a cracked rib. He's pretty injured, but he will be okay. He just needs to recover. Um, But Amira and Jabari will be back here and Alice May has just come home from the hospital and guess who showed up and guess who's already here? Dun, dun, dun. So Kaleo's literally here. Kaleo had the audacity to show up here and Alice May has just arrived and she is furious because of what Kaleo did. Oh my gosh, Benji's barking. Benji's probably barking because of Kaleo, honestly. <laughs> Probably saw Kaleo, came back here, saw Alice May, and was like, mom. All right, but anyway, Alice May is furious. There's probably like one of the staff members telling her that Kaleo is here, like as soon as she gets back, and Alice May is gonna like stomp into the palace when she hears that Kaleo is here. And we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here. So this is where we're gonna start off in the next episode, and the story post will give you guys a better idea of like everything lining up and all the details and everything. And then also, I, I know you guys missed the other characters too. That's why I'm actually powering through Alice May's story and like focusing so much on it because I want to get through it so we can go focus on the other characters. We will see them soon. Elon and Natalia are next to have a baby and Natalia's pregnant. So we'll see them soon. And then Corn Farm are also going to be talking to a donor and then also hiring a professional surrogate. So they will be having their first baby soon. And I'm so excited for that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.